Hello YouTube and welcome to our 69th Unity 3D tutorial and in this tutorial what we are going to do is make some weather features so we're going to add some rain and then maybe some snow if we have enough time at the end but then we could in future expand that to the lightning, thunder, stuff like that and this is really really cool to do um, and in next tutorial it is going to be one of the best tutorials ever I think, I hope so, I hope you agree with me but it will be a long one. So. To start in this tutorial, we need to start by creating the rain. Now, um, I'm not, it's, I'm just going to kind of educate you. I'm just loading up Photoshop so you can use it. Um, 512 by 512 is my image size. Um, most people think of a raindrop as I just use light blue for just an example. Alt double click on your layer to get it from a background and just like get rid. Uh, most people think as a raindrop is either like a tear shit that's awful. Most people think a raindrop is like tear shape. Like that's you, please just like understand. I can't draw. Kind of like that. People think a teardrop is like that. But if we were to show that we would have lots of like triangles falling down which would look absolutely awful. But the tip is for real good rain is you don't even use blue, you use white. On a transparent background, yes, it will be hard to see. But if you want, you could just colour this background in black. And this is a little tip I found on the internet. And it was actually off of YouTube, one of Freddie Wong's videos. He showed, it was Brandon, he showed how they made rain on one of their videos. And I just thought it was amazing. So if we select white and get a thin brush and get a one while that fades out as well. So that would do. And all you do is click from the top, not even touching the top, and then hold shift and click at the bottom. Just one straight line. It could even be thinner or taller. And then get rid of the black background. That's how you make the perfect raindrop. And you will see in a minute why. So if we just save that into our Unity tutorial, which is completely the wrong game. To asset assets, textures. And we need a new one, so weather. I hope that's the right weather, yeah. And we'll call this raindrop. And I don't have a fancy trick to do snow, I've never done snow before, so it'll be new if we do snow. So we've got that now. So um Yeah, so what we'll do is we'll go to create a new empty object and we'll just call this rain. There we go. And we'll add all our three things. Um so effects, legacy, ellipsoid effects, legacy, particle emitter, effects, legacy and particle renderer. So we now have our random thing. I'm going to take one shot, so not one shot, sorry, simulating world space, so it follows the mouse, so it doesn't lag. And Well, what we can do is we can either place it in front of the camera, so that it looks like it's in the camera, but then everywhere we look, it might look a bit, like, crappy. So, um, what we what I'm gonna do is just do it on a large scale, but yeah, so it just it'll take more power, but it'll look so much better. So what we can do is first we need to expand it. So our ellipsoid will try fifty by fifty, and our emission will be nine 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 and a thousand, and then we'll get some force like rain. So one. Oh, that's up. Minus five. There we go. So we've got pink rain. Pink rain's not that good, but let's see the scale of it. You can't see it. It's that bad. So let's start, um, increase the size of it. So zero point one two three. Ooh, that's bad. Maybe not three. Let's increase. Let's bring it up a little bit. One. That's better. So if we look at our game, um, you can see it's not even touching it. So we'll increase the life of it using the energy. So six. I mean, if we go to the side view, we might be able to see it going all the way down. So six is a bit much. So four. Four doesn't seem to change. There we go. So drag it down a little bit. Let's have a look at the y axis now. Is that a good position? 
Yeah. So that'll be there. So what we can do is now if we assign our texture, you'll see how good it looks. So textures, weather, and raindrop. So let's see. Oh, we need to create material for it. So right clicking weather, create material, rain. And what we'll do is we'll assign it to it. Um, yes, it's going to have a white background, but if we go to diffuse, transparent, bump diffuse, it has no longer a white background. Simple. So if we go to our raindrops, which is I've lost, that we can scroll down and assign it. Uh, yeah, I'm trying to get you the best view, but drop. So as you can see, it now looks like dark rain, but yeah, we can we need to play with the lightness. But as you can see though, it does look better than just putting a blob. Um, I'll, I'll experiment with the blob to have a look, but we need to make this lighter so it doesn't animate colour. Um, make it bluish, tint it blue. Make it bright white, will that make it work? Hmm. In fact, from Bump Diffuse, I'll just use Diffuse. Why is it not green white? Well, I'll leave it like that then. We'll have mucky rain for now. So as you can see, we have rain. You can speed it up, make it heavier if you like. I'm just going to do one type of rain. But yeah, so let's increase the force a little bit. In fact, no. Let's add more to it. 2000 to 199. Now we have lots more rain. So we can drag it forward a little bit. Now, this way, when we walk around, all we'll see is rain, rain, rain. So if we attach this to the camera, um, uh, let's see what it looks like in a minute. But this is just an in game test. you see when you look in the right place it looks like it's raining so obviously play with the colors to make it look better and don't worry this isn't it uh, but yeah so we can walk around and because we've done it on such a large scale above him anywhere you look it's not like hidden it's all there it looks like it's always there so it's a instead of stretching it throughout everything it's better so we've got rain um, I'm just going to have a look at something because I have a theory that it's going to be bouncing with the camera which isn't what we want. So if we click the camera there and go across, as you can see the rain is right above it, there. So there's the camera and there's the rain. So if we click play, the rain is now diagonal and the cars fell off. But yeah. So in order to fix that we put the rain into our main character. Ooh. And in here we'll create a new um, game object and just call it weather. There. Drag this into our character and put rain in. Now if we play it, the rain will always, always, always follow the character. He jumps super slow. Yeah, so the rain is now following him. Let's see what it looks like. And if it works, well, we're going to start randomizing it. So it starts, stops raining, then starts raining. That looks awful. Why? So let's have a look. Where is it above the character? Oh, it's nowhere near the character. That's why. So let's put it near the character. Now the character will see rain. So let's try again. Rain, rain. Here we go. There we go. So it's raining, it's pouring. And you can make different le types of rain. So you can have drizzle rain, heavy rain if you want, but I'm, I'm just going to do this same rain. As you can see, it looks wet. We, what we can do is make it so if it's raining, make it dark, but you sometimes go when it's sunny, it'll rain. Um, if that sounds weird to you, welcome to the United Kingdom. It rains when it's sunny. But yeah, so we've got that. Now, let's try and make snow. In fact, I'm going to leave snow because I don't know how to draw a snow texture because it'll look weird but yeah I don't know why they are black but you can just play around until you find it but yeah that you sh you will get a good raindrop effect from that 
Don't put it as black. No, that works first. Right, so let's just disable that for a minute. So, untick. Now let's find our weather script. So if we find out where we did the time to determine which weather it was on. In here, um, we know what this says. But what I'm going to do is every time it reaches zero zero, so every minute, it's going to check if the rain's going to randomize again. Is it going to be off or on? So uh, below this, I'm going to type. In fact, not in the for loop. Should be in the for loop. Yeah. So if split time two equals equals zero zero. So if it started again. It'll check whether it's going to rain or not. So technically speaking, it could rain for a full 60 minutes, which is probably what we want. So it actually looks like it's raining. So if it is raining, we want it to do random, in fact, weather check. Checker, then. Yeah. So we'll copy that. And below this white checker, we'll create a fun. Uh, well, now we'll create a new function. Function. Where's it typing? Uh, function. There we go. Try again. So here we'll type weather checker. So in here we've just got it to do a for loop to search street lights. That's not what we want. So in here we're going to create two variables above it first. Var rain particles. Lowercase r. I think I spot particles wrong, but okay. And that'll be a game object. We will assign our rain to that, and we could assign our snow, sun, no snow, stuff like that. So in here, we're going to make a new random number. So we know how to do this. For rand, um, num equals random dot range, and now you put the lengths between. So from zero to, well, we've got. Let's think. We've got sun, no sun, rain, no rain. So four, we'll say four. Yeah, I think that's right. So below this, we type var um, our weather equals this. So we can access this as an integer now. So below this, um, every time it calls that when it equals zero zero, we it will call a random number. So we'll print our weather, so we can see what it picked. And then we'll do a switch statement against our weather. So switch um, case zero. I think I think I've done that case statement wrong. Have I? No, I haven't. No, I'm thinking of C sharp. C sharp. You put colons. Case. What case are we having? Zero. There. Break. So in here we will type. So if it equals zero, what do we want? We want sun. So we'll make rain particles dot set and it active equals false. So that's disabled. And we want the sun out, don't we? So where's our light? So we need our light checker here. And sun's light dot range is that. Should we do that? No, we'll just turn light rain off for now. So here we'll change it to two because I, the way I was thinking is we're going to turn the sun on and off. But if we start controlling the sun here, it'll mess up with it and like the sun doesn't stay on randomly come on during the night. So that'd be weird. So now we can set it to true if it equals one. So it's probably going to rain very often in our game until we change it, but yeah. So now if we were to run that, it play it, when it gets to zero, 00 or 60, it would go weather checker here. Create a random number, so 1, I think, yeah, 1. And then it'll print it out to us, and then it'll switch. Is it 0? No, 1, yes, enable rain. So rain will be raining. And if it doesn't, it'll turn rain off. So it'll get really random effects. So you could be sat here for a minute or two, but I'll speed it up in the actual video. So we have an error, 66. In there. Well, we don't need that full stop. Where's our error? Weather, is it gone? Um, self dot rain particles cannot be assigned to. It's 58, let's see. 
rain particles dot set active. What's wrong with that? 58 expression. Okay, so let's just do it the old fashioned way because it seems to not be liking that. Game object dot active equals false. Let's try that. Is it wanting to do it now? Yeah, so I must have been using that new code wrong. Uh, well, so where's our weather script? We need to remember where we attached it. I believe it was on the floor, but I'm not 100% sure. There we go, son. No. Ah. Character? Okay, I'm going to stop it now and I'll come back when I find where we actually attached it to because we can't be creating a new one because then I'll mess everything up. Um, see you in a minute. Hey YouTube, so I'm back so I found it. It was on the HUD's in-game time script so I have to attach the rain object to it. But before we start it, I actually found a little glitch in it. And more like a little one rather a big one. Well, in the function update, the function update calls in milliseconds I believe and, and there's a hundred milliseconds in a second I think. And since our time goes up in seconds, that means it's going to create a random number every second a hundred times, which is very processor heavy and we don't really want that. So easiest way to stop this is to create a boolean, so var should random equals true. So we'll copy that. And in here where it says split time equals zero zero, in here we'll type if should random equals equals true, which it does then it will check the weather and above this will make it false so we can't check it again so check it once so you can't do it then carry on and then underneath where it says the time we'll type else should random equals true so it turns it back on however another thing is at the start of it when it starts doing it it starts at zero zero but then in the future when it gets to zero or sixty it just goes to zero not zero zero so the easiest way to fix this is to just create another one and just add zero onto it. And then that way it will random it in any time of zero. And I'm just going to delete this print statement here as well because this is annoying. So let's play again. So now it should randomize every time. Zero. See it just randomized. It starts off at one, now it's one. So it's raining. I'll speed it up and see if we can get a zero out of it to show you how it works. So I'll be back in a Okay, so I'm back and we're about to see if it works. So if it clicks as a zero, it works. There we go. So we got a zero, the rain stopped. And now it's weather change, so we've officially got weather change. If you want to add more weathers, um, create more particles um, and in your weather here, increase your random number and increase your case statement and just turn it on. That's really it and it's really done. So that was really, really cool. Sorry about the lag, um, not the lag, I mean the speed up. Um, I'll see you try for that, okay? Thanks for watching and see you next time.